word is that Ben Affleck is going to have his own solo Batman movie. And that is being pushed forward a little bit faster than and originally anticipated due to the success, I guess, of his character in Batman vs. Superman. The, I, I'm now, actually thinking not, maybe I'm more due to its film. failure. <laughs> yeah, well, but apparently Ben Affleck was not a bad part of Batman vs. Superman. I don't know. You, you guys can let us know what you think. Was Ben Affleck a good Superman? Yes or no down in the comments. But... Apparently, since the success of him as that character has gone so well, they're pushing it up. They're going to be moving it up. I believe it was originally slated for like 2018, 2019. We might be seeing it come out like early, early 2018 or maybe late 2017 now. So that's interesting. But the other interesting thing is that he is actually going to write and direct this movie himself. Which is pretty now, surprising. And star yeah. in it, which actually you say that, but it's really not too surprising for me. And I got the, the, to thinking, you know, if Ben Affleck did this, where would I imagine it to land in the pantheon of Batman films? You know, if we're going to rank them, where, where would this fall on the list? So let's jump right into things. And Ben Affleck, you might not know, he has done several movies where he's written and directed it. Uh, two of them, very, very good. The Town, excellent movie. He wrote and directed and also played a major part in it. And then also another movie, which actually starred his little brother, Casey Affleck, which was called Gone Baby Gone, which was actually a really good movie, too. I really enjoyed it. So he did those two. He wrote and directed both of those. Two very solid movies. Did now, there's have, other movies. Did he have a hand in writing any of the early uh, Matt Damon movies that he was in as well? Uh, was that just Matt Damon? Well, well, other ones that he's written. Now, he did famously co-write uh, Good Will Hunting with Matt Damon. And so that is one that he won an Academy Award for doing okay. that. Um, so, yeah, Good Will Hunting is one that he wrote. He also, well, and then The Town and Gone Baby Gone, those were some of the other ones that I had him write. And then another movie that he directed, which was spectacular, was Argo. So he does have a, a track record of making good movies that he has written and directed in. So, and I want to say that his acting performances tend to be better in the movies that he directs for himself, which, you know, I guess could make a little bit of sense but yeah i guess most directors don't know how to get good ben affleck they just get daredevil at ben affleck so it's yeah not always the best thing so i thought hey wouldn't it be fun if we had a discussion to see where this might rate now let's start with the worst batman movie batman versus robin batman no, not batman versus robin but batman and robin i Is think everybody batman v superman well, I'm not really counting that in there because that's not really a Batman solo film. All right. These are just Batman solo films. I'm not I'm not going through films that Batman has appeared in, which Batman vs. Superman might be the only one on that list. But, but just of the Batman solo films, Batman and Robin. Now, I actually like George Clooney as Batman. I thought he played a good version of Batman. But the storyline was horrible. Um, the villains were absolute hot garbage. Uh Yeah, it, it just not a lot really went well for that story. The style of the story just made gotham into instead of like a gothic metropolis made into like a neon green metropolis which didn't really make much sense yeah they were going for a overly cartoony feel in slightly a funny way but not oh i guess it's overly cartoony without going far enough the way the yeah. uh, the adam west batman went <laughs> Yeah, it was overly cartoony in a way that just didn't work. You could see that they were kind of going for a certain style. It just never quite fit. And the acting wasn't good. Alicia Silverstone was not good as Batgirl. The story, like I said, was the weakest of all the Batman stories. Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze was absolutely horrendous. And Uma Thurman played an all right Poison Ivy. Bane was not Superman. actually a very good Bane. I mean, it, it colored our image Bane. of Bane for a long time. But I, I think they, it actually, I think, shocked people when they saw the, the later Bane. And they're like, what? Isn't he supposed to be oh, just a Bane idiot? can talk? Yeah, most like, people don't realize. I believe Bane is a scientist. He creates the Venoms. Uh, well, he might not create it. He's a, but he at least he's a criminal it. mastermind. Like, he is actually one of the smartest criminals yeah. that Batman goes up against. He is also very strong, but that's... Kills Batman at one point, too. Yeah. So, or at least breaks his back. Yeah, and um, what so, you did in the movie. So, yeah. There you go. So, Batman and Robin, definitely the worst on the list. Now, the second worst, I'd say, is Batman Forever. That was the Val Kilmer one. Even though Jim Carrey did his absolute best to pull that movie off of the brink, 
It still was not very good. Jim Carrey was an excellent Widow. You know, though, I gotta give him that. I I have a little bit of a soft spot for that one because I think that's the first Batman movie that I personally saw. Oh well, so it's very possible. So, but Val Kilmer was not a very good Batman. I thought George Clooney was a better Batman than Val Kilmer, but Val Kilmer's movie was a little better. So, yeah, you can't hate hate too much either way. But that being said, again, they, that's where the, the the weird neon style kind of started. I would say. But it made more sense because he had the Riddler who dresses in a really bright green outfit anyway. <laughs> so it kind of fit. And Two-Face where, you know, he's half purple, half. Yeah, he was purple in that. That was kind of weird. Maybe that's how he was. That's, again, how he was. Yeah, I guess, yeah, that's how he was in the comics and the cartoons. So, yeah. But that one, I would say, is the second worst of all the Batmans. Mm-hmm. Now, this is where I'm not sure where the Ben Affleck one would come in. I would actually either say it would be the next or above the tim burton movies yeah and i'm actually combining both the tim burton movies together and that would be the original batman and batman returns both of those were excellent i like the villains a little bit better in batman returns but jack nicholas as joker you really can't go wrong i mean they were excellent movies i really enjoyed them these are good batman movies there i would either say ben affleck's movie would either come in right under this or right above it it's one of the two because tim burton's is definitely set up a cool style for batman it gave you the dark you know kind of gothic look of of gotham city um it really it, it seemed to set up the whole franchise pretty well and it was the first real success story i would say for one of those superhero movies um that were comics that got brought to the big screen so mm-hmm. definitely the tim burton movies were, were really good with michael keaton 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 michael keaton yeah keaton um <laughs> in uh in those two so it's probably either right under there or right above there. And of course, I'm just, again, I'm going to lump them all in together. I can't imagine it'll even come even remotely close to this. But that was the Dark Knight trilogy by Christopher Nolan. I mean, just in terms of movies, those were spectacular movies. Uh, just taking them out of the superhero genre, they mm-hmm. were just well thought out. It was a well planned trilogy. So. Ben Affleck, though, I think he can do a good job. He seems like the the, uh, the movies he has written, The Town, Gone Baby Gone, and Goodwill Hunting, all of them had excellent dialogue, uh, excellent character development, and you know good plot devices to move the story forward. And if you can get those in a, a suspense movie and a thriller movie, or I don't even what would you call Goodwill Hunting? Just a drama, I guess. Yeah, you you should be able to to put some of those same things in towards making a Batman movie. And maybe, you know, not make it as dark if you didn't want to or make it even darker. Who knows? If you're taking the same Batman character from Batman versus Superman, which is what they are doing, I'd say they're probably going pretty dark with it because that was a uh, Batman on the the <laughs> on the way for revenge is an interesting thing. So, yeah, I think you bring up a few good points, but uh, you see, I kind of wonder how well his style is going to transition to an action superhero movie that not only just that but also as part of a giant cinematic universe the that that's they're true. that they've been doing which has been the the kind of a new style that apparently a lot of people are yeah, struggling he's, to he's, figure out shared universes are getting big now that being said yeah you're right it, it could go either way one thing that makes me think that this movie might not be as good as i'd like it to be which probably there, there's almost no way it can be as good as i'd like it to be but there's been rumors that they're going to try to throw in a ton of Batman villains. A ton. And if you remember what the big downfall for Batman vs. Superman was, everybody said they tried to do too much. They tried to throw in too many villains, too many heroes, too many this and that, and they all ended up being cameo appearances, and you can't make a movie full of cameo appearances. It just doesn't tend to work. So that can be a downfall. Hopefully he'll try to narrow that down. I don't want to see another Joker. Uh, again, I haven't seen Batman vs. Superman, but I haven't heard the greatest things about Jared Leto's Joker. And it'd be nice to explore some of the other villains that are out there. Ra's al Ghul was excellently fleshed out in the Christopher Nolan series as well as Joker. I mean, really, that's why I don't want to see another Joker. Heath Ledger broke the mold for Jokers, and it's going to be another couple decades before I think we're ready to see another Joker. Or we're going to see another Joker anyway, though, with uh, Suicide Squad. Well, yeah. Well, and you saw it in Batman. Oh, yeah, never mind. Not Batman or Superman Joker. Jared Leto was in the... Uh, you're right, Suicide Squad. So that, that'll be where we see Jared Leto come out. And you know what? He could surprise me, and he could be really, really good, and could be like, okay, you were just 
you were worried about nothing. You thought Heath Ledger was going to be the worst ever Joker ever. And I did. I, I really did. I thought it was going to be absolutely horrendous. And he turned out just being the, like, not even just in superhero movies. Again, I, I, I hate to, to keep it in that classification because those movies, just as pure cinema, were great. Heath Ledger, just as a pure, you know, character actor, was amazing playing that character. So there's different things. So I would imagine right now, if I had to place bets, that the Ben Affleck movie would probably come in right underneath. I'm going to go with right underneath the Tim Burton movies, even though I'm hoping it kind of edges them out just a little bit. That means it's an awesome movie. So I don't know, Brendan, what would you say? Where would, where would you rank it? Well, I'm, I'm a little bit more skeptical right now. One, because yes, Ben Affleck has, has done some fine movies, um, including really early in his career. So he's, he's had time. He's got the repertoire, but he doesn't have the repertoire for, action movies as far as i'm aware especially sure. not superhero movies in this context which mm-hmm. is getting which yeah, is one superhero different. movie nah, it's so good um but also because i'm a little skeptical of what they're going to do or what the impact of the uh the overall franchise is going to be whether they still have Zack snyder at the the helm of it you know and i think what he was the, just the, the justice league stuff yeah but i thought he well for a while i thought he was even though he wasn't directing everything, he was still um, kind of putting in place what the the big pieces were supposed to be for how uh, things were supposed to move. I think forward. he was. He might have been a consultant. I, I don't remember him being yeah, a big overall. They might have producer. moved him off. I know that they talked about moving him off of such a, a a core involvement after the feedback from Batman v Superman. So then he then that might be better. But we still don't know how that influence is going to come whether they're going to force it into the same kind of mold that Batman v Superman set up, which would be bad. I know we've, we've already talked about Suicide Squad starting to change things up, trying to add in a little more humor. So maybe they are, or they'll give them more leeway. I don't know, but that's why I'm saying like things are kind of in flux. Okay. Right so there. rank it, rank it. I, I'm going to say that a, a, maybe below uh, Batman forever. I'm mm. skeptical. I don't know. Mm, nah, you really don't think it'll be any good. You know, me, I, Batman v Superman was just so bad. Everything else is going so weirdly. Now, I hope for a good one. And I think it's possible to deliver a good one. I mean, he could knock it out of the park. I'm just skeptical at this point because of everything else that's going on. And there's also a movie we didn't rank here, which I think it might still be below. No, I'm not ranking the Adam West Batman movie. Because it's like the best of them? Okay, no, it's not going in there. I thought about it and I was like, no, I will not include this in there. It's you almost a cartoon. Batman and Robin. It's more of a cartoon than anything else. So. Yeah, but it did the, but it did it better than Batman and Robin. Like it was a better movie than Batman and Robin. Yeah, yeah. but not not much better than for Batman a different for completely different reasons. Yeah, because it, it was, was so bad, it was good. Yeah, but but, it was but hit us up. Let us know what you think. Where would you rank the Ben Affleck Batman movie? Even though yeah, it hasn't come out. Yeah, it hasn't started filming. Just just. Play along with us here. Rank them down below for us in comments and let us know. Do you think it'll be up there with the Christopher Nolan ones or down there with the Batman and Robin one? Uh, hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at What's My Face on Twitter. Google Blows and Facebook. Always good ways to get